This video is gonna be all about Pikachu and the Pokemon Yellow game. We're gonna try to figure out if your copy is an authentic one or a fake one. Hopefully this video is gonna be helpful in trying to identify that and we're even gonna open up the cartridges so you're 100% sure that your copy of Pokemon Yellow is authentic. So let's check it out. <laughs> And here we go guys, we have Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Special Edition. So this particular version is pretty fun and check out what's the differences between all four of these and let me know what's an authentic and what's an original. If you told me these two are authentic, then you're most likely right, but I believe this is authentic too. Um, although the E is definitely sus in there in the actual cover but I think what happened here is it was a reprinted one or one of those um, fan made cover that you could buy for like a dollar or two dollars that uh, the person replaced the sticker itself so we'll, we'll check it out once we open it up because the only way you can fully identify if your Pokemon game is 100% uh, legit is through looking through the insides and the motherboard and the chips that are included in there so let's check it out again for pokemon yellow there's only two versions really that was accepted here the dmg apse dash usa one and the one without the dash one okay so the black e's usually have the dash one and the clear e doesn't have the dash ones all right and everything else here looks pretty much uh, similar, okay? Besides that, that e, lo e rating logo and that dash one in there. So, let's compare this particular one. Oops. This particular one has the black E but doesn't have the dash one. So that's definitely sus and the print itself look the the background is like white clear white instead of like a blurry white on the back here okay and it doesn't have that TM doesn't have that TM special Pikachu edition does say that and you have the Nintendo logo on the right place and the picture itself is pretty close but it's not quite close the yellow shades are different but the cartridge itself is good so let's compare it to the other fake that I had here which is around five dollars Pikachu is a whole picture not like here it doesn't show the feet on the original one it does have the black E and it doesn't have the dash one on the black E if you have a black E rating um Pokemon Yellow Edition, it should always have that dash one on there, okay? And the back side looks different too. It looks uh, fake for this one, but this looks original. It has that circle in the middle and it has it still have the flower um, screwdriver in there, flower screw, okay? And you have a, a Nintendo seal of quality here that this usually means it's fake and this yellow version code in here looks like this what is what it looks like on the actual box so they probably just scan the box and then slab it in there okay and let's check it out to see if we have a fake or an authentic one. Oh, one last thing here is this R here it should say TM TM star so this both of these doesn't have the the right uh, stuff in there like TM Asterisk. Okay, so let's check out what's supposed to be what's it, it's supposed to look like for the authentic one. If I can open this one of these up, oh, this I've already pre-opened. Good. And the authentic one looks like that. It has a smaller battery than a uh, Pokemon Red and Yellow, but you have the four chip, four chips in there. You got DMG dash A O two dash zero one very small battery here okay and the back ones does say Nintendo 1998 Nintendo with the four windows 
and TP1, TP2, TP3, and TP4 on the back, okay? So that's what an authentic, what authentic um, Pokemon Yellow cartridge is supposed to look like. So when I see a listing that actually opens it up, you can just breathe easy that you're 100% sure that yours is legit. Okay? And now we're gonna open up this one. Let's see if I could open up. I didn't buy the full screw holder for this, so. Let's see. Moment of truth. And there you go. It looks 100% legit. Everything lines up. You have the Nintendo at the back. Somebody tried to cover these. I don't know why. Okay, the tape. Genuine. You have that sticker there. And TP1, TP2, TP3, TP4. Okay. You got the small battery. You have the four thing with the MX in there. Japan, Sharp. Everything is legit. So I think what happened here, so that's why you can 100% go th for just the sticker on the top is it probably got, it probably had a beaten or a torn um, cover and somebody bought that $1 like sticker and then slap it in there. Okay. And now for the fake ones. It's probably gonna look like a Game Boy Advance size because uh, this came from all from one seller and I bought these for Pokemon Blue, Red and Yellow. There you go. That's what it's not supposed to look like for Game Boy Advance. I mean uh, Pokemon Yellow, okay? They're using a Game Boy Advance size uh, um, motherboard now. Because it's, it's probably because it's higher quality now and it, this still holds saves. I tried it already and it does play much like the actual game, okay? And that's it for this video. And one thing I missed here for manufacturing codes of the sticker for Pokemon Yellow is this particular one. Okay, there's like a, either a, two numbers and a letter or just two numbers. We got number 22 there. The fake ones doesn't have that as well. They usually miss, miss this little key details there. Okay. And that's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful. If I miss any key details about these Pokemon games, definitely let me know in the comment section. And if you're looking for other Pokemon games that might be fake or you have doubts about the authenticity of these Pokemon games, definitely check out my channel and just look for the playlist of Fake vs. Real. Other than that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and have a good day! Started facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen.